Hey guys, we're back live. We wanted to do one more show. We wanted to talk about this K4 card. This K4 card is shaping up to be pretty amazing. Um, we I know we say this every card. That's kind of our job. But man, I'm really excited for this one. And uh, me and Ray, we're going to sit down. We're going to go through without a fighter. And we're just going to talk about some of the fights that are exciting to us on the card. Uh, first off, opening the show, we have the ladies fight. We got uh, Jasmine versus Ashley. Um, we just had both these girls on the podcast just just literally like minutes ago. And, man, I'm excited for this fight. We got uh, PhD against the teacher, man. Like, that's a crazy fight just in itself. Yes, it is. And um, Ashley trained with killers from WNY and around the area. So, you know, I, I definitely can't wait to watch her fight. Yeah, we were talking earlier, and Ray's like, man, I don't know how any girl can uh, – can deal with the, the guys that she's dealing with. So she he's look, really looking forward to thinking that uh, she's going to take Jasmine. Jasmine's long and tall, though, rangy. Trains the Lang brothers, man. Anyone and who trains with the Langs is going to be a tough For sure. And Jas Jasmine is a, a very smart fighter. So it's going to be a crazy war, in my opinion. And, she, and she's got the experience, too. Ray was like, man, this might be a fight at night. He always wants to give fight at night to the ladies. And yeah. uh, like usually the ladies deserve it to be honest with you. So yeah, man, as yeah. long as they're not grandma's making uh Ray banana bread, uh <laughs> I'm all for it too. Oh, damn. Um oh. then we got um we're we're just gonna skip around the two to uh uh fights that we uh we know the people of. Uh we got Jesse Rosblock. Uh we had him on the uh po on the K4 podcast. He's yep. making his debut. Uh, man, I'm excited to see him fight. He wants to be considered one of the best Muay Thai people in the area. When you say that, you have a big bill to fill. So uh, I'm excited to see right. how this fight plays out too. Watching um, Jesse videos, he's very technical. He got good technique. Um, I want to watch him put them techniques to use. So yeah, me too. I'm really, I'm really excited to see this. I've trained with him on and off for, for a couple years now. Um, He's uh, representing Elevation, so he left W and Y. Um, they kind of count him as a fighter, kind of don't count him as a fighter. So, man, I'm I'm interested to see like how that works out for him. Yeah, one thing for sure I know about Jesse, he got shins of steel. <laughs> <laughs> His shins may be harder than steel since he kicks steel poles. That's yeah, like yeah, true that, true that. <laughs> yeah, he's a psycho, dude. I like that kind of uh, kind of guy. Then we got Alex Martel versus one of the Bell brothers against Manuel Bell. Uh, and this time it's a 185 Muay Thai fight. Uh, Manuel's uh, jiu-jitsu is not going to be able to save him. Uh, he relied on the jiu-jitsu to really overcome um, uh, his opponent last time. Uh, the I, I would say this, though. The Bell Brothers, they are training in a new gym. So they are being serious about their training. And uh, it, should be a, it, sh it should be a good fight. Then we got the hard, the hardest thing about these guys is saying their names. But uh, there we're going to put on one of the best shows on the card. We got Opal, uh -oh. Opal and Tissimo <laughs> versus uh, Abbas Abubabajur. <laughs> Abba oh, yeah, the, uh, two fights with the worst last names. Yeah, I'm going to really have to practice uh, uh, practice all my vowels and consonants to be able to say those yeah. names. But, but these guys are going to put nice. on the show. Yeah. Um, Dennis? has been blowing up my phone for so long right. trying to get on right. this car dude like i'm so happy he <laughs> fought somebody i wish it wasn't somebody I, I like like a boss him and a boss like man it's hard to root for either one of these guys but uh i like both of these guys good. dave man um but to me it's gonna be style versus style to dennis handle um boss karate style with the kicks different kind of kicks He's not used to seeing in a multi fight. That's a, no. He's gonna make adjustments too, and he's got the power of the Lord on his side, dude. You can never discount yep. that. The power yep. of belief is a powerful, powerful tool in any kind of fight. Dennis um, looks good. I seen some of the training videos he um he sent me, and uh, he looks good. Yeah, Dennis looks good all the time. We got yeah. Dervisholi coming back. I don't know if you remember him from the last card. But that dude is a tank, man. I'm excited to call another one of his fights. He's undefeated. I can't wait to see him fight again. Um, then we have the fight that everyone was talking about last show. 
And uh, it was close to being a co-main event last show. This fight is so good. It's down at the end of the Muay Thai um, portion of the card. And it's Brett Vallone against Stephen Bell. Now, this has potential to be fight of the night. You got the or guy knockout of the night. Or knockout of the night. You got, I don't know, man. I don't think you can knock Brett Vallone out, dude. I think I could hit that dude in the head with a baseball bat um, and nothing would happen. Uh, Stephen, um. Stephen Bell, he got power on both hands. He keep coming at you. Um, he don't stop. Um, but he like, like he like, stole his girlfriend, drank his beer, kicked his dog, and stole his car all at the same time. Yeah, he look like he's fighting the Chippewa. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, listen, Brett, he could take a freaking kick to the face like nothing. He, he said like nothing. So it's going to be a good tell fight. You, tell you something about Brett. He's much better than we give him credit for. He showed a lot of footwork skill, being able to uh, even just hit Nick Walker. Yep, he is a lot better than than anyone knows, and we're about to find out. Yep. Um, the next fight is recent addition to the card, and man, I cannot wait to see uh, Brian Barker Herder against Brandon Hay. Wow, that fight's gonna be crazy, dude! Like Brawny Smurf. He's one of my favorite fighters. Um, I, I know him personally, so I love this kid to death. He's a really good kid. He lives in the gym. Yep. Man, I'm so excited for this. That Keith added this fight. This is like wrestling against MMA. So Brandon Hay, he fights like Piotr Jan. Like he's got that really tight hand style. Right. His hands yep. are up. He's got solid wrestling, really good jujitsu. But man, Barker Herder can put anyone on the floor, dude. His takedowns are so good. That we saw in his last fight, weakness to submissions. Right. So uh, Barker, he's strong as hell. Got the strong hands, and uh, he grab you. I think he's gonna take him down, bring him down. But like, like you said, Grandem Jiu Jitsu is good, solid. Um, his striking is solid. So it's gonna be an interesting fight. I, I don't know if it's okay to say this. This might be like inappropriate. But Barker Herr is like a like a fake UFC character. He looks like a midget with like an oversized head and nothing but muscles. Like he's got like a 10 strength and like a, a normal size head, but he's like five one. You know, like it's so are, crazy. Are you saying he looks like a creative fighter? Yeah, <laughs> I'm stealing your line. He does look like a creative fighter, but dude, like he's like almost like a midget, but not really because midgets are like got the small head and the big body. Dude, he is just so big. I'm. Man, that's crazy. Brandon, hey, looking forward to it. I know he's strong. He's feeling confident. Dude, Brandon, Brandon like, you are a beast, bro. Yeah. Brandon, you are a beast. Um, I was impressed with your last fight and uh, your stand-up. You you a complete fighter. So it's going to be a good fight for sure. Not taking anything away from the Southtown guys, man. Those Southtown guys are crazy, dude. Like Southtowns is like like <laughs> like Ben always says like the the plaid shirt of the academy like it's got a little bit of everything I love it <clears throat> Jared Joseph like Brandon's last fight impressive yeah it was very impressive it was um, Barker Hurd didn't have an impressive fight but he's an impressive gentleman as well yep. his skill level is so high I'm so excited for this fight um when this was added this is the fight that I really wanted to see kind of the most every fight there's a card uh, fight you want to see most on the card. Um, Hey, K man, I got a question for you, K man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a question. Let's say question? If, uh, Baker loses this fight. You think his brother come in for revenge? I don't know. He's a weight class bigger, so it'd be interesting to see. Uh, his brother's a little bit more seasoned, too, and then it would be a, a full rules fight. Um, so, like, these these fights, no ground and pound. Um, this is going to be a, a novice fight. Uh, and it changes a little bit because there's there's not as much space as there is when you can punch. So if Barker Herr gets on top, man, it's going to be tight. He's going to stay tight to him. It's going to be hard to do jiu-jitsu when you can't punch him in right. and have to open up the space. And he's not going to punch yeah. you and open up the space. So he's going to sit on you, you know. And uh, Brandon's got great takedowns himself. So, right. but, man, Barker Herr is a much more accomplished wrestler outside of the cage. But what's it like when they fight in the cage? Maybe Hayes' stand-up sets up the takedowns better. Or maybe Barker Hurd catches a little crazy strike, man. I'm I'm so excited for this one. I, um, I think uh, Brandon got the probably got the better um, MMA wrestling. Yeah, maybe I don't know, 
We'll, we'll find out. Uh, he hasn't been guillotined in his takedown attempts, so like we have so many fights that could be um, main, uh, not main event, but fight of the night. Like we got the ladies fight, we got uh, the Bell of Alone fight, we got this fight, and then we're not even up into the like the top of the card yet. And now we got Tom, the return of Thomas Trexler. Um, Thomas Trexler is one of my favorite all-time K4 fighters. Um, He's stepped up for the promotion. He stepped up weight classes. He stepped up to co-main event. He um, he beat one of the, one of the most famous people that we have on the show. Um, just came in and choked him out. Like, dude, he is one of the most impressive fighters I've seen on the roster, and uh, I can't wait to see him fight again. I love Tom Trexler. I'm a big, I'm the biggest Tom Trexler fan that there is probably in K4. I'm a, I'm a fan of his too. Like K4 got like a, a bunch of good fighters, man. He, Young guys, you know, I'm impressed with all of them. Yeah, and uh, he's taking on Martin McCoggan. I don't want, don't want, do not know much about him. We haven't had him on a podcast, so I haven't re- really researched him too much. Um, then we got like an interesting fight between uh, Zach Cheek and Travis Rubio. Um, Rubio is a guy that was in the Camorra for like uh, three minutes of the last fight, and you guys were all like, and I was like, that wasn't me. That, that 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 wasn't me. That was Ben. Ben was like, yeah. please. Yeah, I was. Me and you was like, me and you, me and you was like. <laughs> ben was like, this. yeah. I really thought his shoulder was gonna pop. That dude is one of the toughest motherfuckers I've ever seen, man. I oh, yeah. I hope <laughs> that one was Jared. I hope that he just <laughs> gets a win, man. I know that. Um, Zach Cheek is coming in from highest in MMA. That's Keith's brother school. So I know that the dude is going to be solid. They got uh, yep. guys in the UFC coming out of their gym, dude. They they are for real. They're going to have grappling. They're going to have striking. But, man, I really want to see Rubio come out with the win. Hey, Carol, good to see you. Um, I really hope that Rubio comes out with it, man. Like, yeah, he's been coming at this for a really long time. I want to see him come out with the win. Then we got Corey Piper versus Gregory uh, – Canaparo from Rigatoro Gym. Uh, Corey is another longtime K4 vet. He's like on every show, and uh, he's had some tough draws and he's had some good fights. Last fight, he uh, he got Russell fucked by uh, Sheenan and he had a really hard time getting up. And it was like a very frustrating fight. So I know he's looking to come back with a knockout. But you know what though, with him, um, you gotta give him credit. He survived them freaking masses wrestlers. <laughs> Yeah, and Sheena's not just a roster dude. He is an elite, right. elite He's grappler. an elite grappler. He's got know, good submissions. Yeah. And, like, dude, for him to retain guard over and over again on Sheena, that was, man, that was uh, something. He proved his jiu-jitsu to me. Like, yes, sometimes, for sure. Sometimes just surviving on the ground means you got good jiu-jitsu. And uh, yeah. he really does got good jiu-jitsu. And these are all ground and pound fights. So, uh, Trexler's uh, full rules, Piper's full rules. Then we're we got a 125 pound kickboxing title. We have Cameron Johnson from Empire Academy taking on Brian Cox. Now this fight is going to be phenomenal. Watch out with the last name Cox. <laughs> yeah, that's Ben's favorite word to say. He likes to say Cox a lot. <laughs> Poor Brian. Yeah. Dude, Brian uh, just looked so amazing. Um, oh, man. Man. He um. Uh, yeah. His hands, cave man. He got hands. He could he could box. And I asked him when he was on the podcast, did he ever train boxing? He said no. So I'm some, you know, his hands are yeah, good. And I expected him to be like kind of thuggy and just like real braggadocious and like, dude, he is like the most nerdiest dude ever. And uh, he does not fight like he's a nerd at all, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, he he looked like he uh he sounded like he played Final Fantasy and stuff. Um, yeah, but, uh, dude, I like that he was sitting and the lights were shining down like the three lights. There are three lights. Like it was crazy. Uh, when we did the <laughs> podcast with him, um, dude, I he is he's something else. So we better keep his eye on him. But Cameron yeah. Johnson's not coming to lose, man. Those Empire Academy guys, woo, man, are they good? And Cameron, uh, he can do everything. Um, I don't know about his clinch, but they're not fighting a clinch fight. They're fighting a kickboxing fight. This is, uh, I think this is the first kickboxing fight in K4 history, to be honest with you, too. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So um, this, this is pretty interesting. 
And our main event of the night, we're going to have Tristan Carr from Redemption taking on Blake Cron from WNY MMA. This fight, this is going to be um, a fight that I think is going to end in the first round, to be honest with you. I, uh, I don't see this one going three rounds. Both these guys are savages. Both these guys can grapple. Both these guys are good strikers. Uh, and both want to win really bad. Both want that K4 title. Um, I can't wait to see this one, man. Oh, man. They got to, yeah, somebody, yeah, this fight is not going to decision. It's somebody getting knocked out or get knocked out or submitted. No. And sure. we didn't even go, we did not even touch the whole card. These are just wait a minute. highlight cards for me. How, did, did we forget about um, Mixon? No, we uh we didn't forget about Mixon. He's fighting Jonathan and Shag. Uh, we had them both on. He's from Empire Academy against WNY MMA. We didn't really talk about his fight much because I don't know much about uh Jonathan. So I, but I, what I'm gonna say is this though: if he if if he's coming out of Empire, he he got he got cardio. They don't let nobody fight if they don't got cardio. That's one of the rules. <laughs> yeah, dude. But, um, yeah, it's one of the rules. If if you don't got cardio, you ain't fighting. So that means I would have never fought if I was fighting up over there. With yeah, them. and Empire's got uh, a lot of people on the card. They got Dennis. They got Jonathan. They got yeah, uh, and, Derrick and, 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 and K-Man, it's always with the Western New York MMA versus Empire. Yeah, that's, that. that's, the, that's the whole way. And then they're in the co-main event with uh, Jonathan, too. But, yep. uh, man, it is – they are going to have a serious rivalry for the next couple of years because Empire's top of the food chain – the WNY MMA is top of the food chain, man. It's yep. like there are going to be battles, battles and battles and battles for the next year. And guess what? We get to watch and enjoy. Yeah. What's your pick for fight of the night, submission of the night, and knockout of the night? Damn. Ah, uh, uh, man. All right. I'm going to say the. Um, Jasmine and Ashley fight. It's gonna be fire tonight. Okay. Uh submission of the night. Uh, I'm gonna say Brandon and Brian. Oh, okay. Okay. He stole mine. He suck. <laughs> <laughs> and well, and we got knockout of the night. Uh yeah. you know what? With knockout tonight, I'm going to go with uh, – it's going to be either uh, Dennis or Boss. Somebody's going down in that fight. Wow. Wow, yeah. dude. I'm going to say that. I don't know who is going to go down, but somebody's going down in that fight. All right. My pick for fight of the night, I think I'm going to pick uh, Cameron Johnson and Brian Cox. I think that one has – the most potential to be fight of the night. Uh, for knockout of the night, I think, man, this one's a, this is a, probably the toughest one to pick because I don't think there's going to be uh, too many knockouts. But I'll go with Ross Black against uh, Abdal Aziz. And then what does that leave? That leaves submission of the night for me. And, man, this is tough. This is tough. I am going to say submission of the night comes from Par, uh, Car Karan and uh, uh, come back from behind victory for one of the two men. One was going to get rocked and the other one's going to finish him. Nice picks. picks my picks of the night. Just uh, out of the blue so far. Uh, I have to really watch a lot more tape. to. Uh, him. I'll have uh, a lot better answers next week. Um, so this is my, my week of fight prep. Now I'm going to start watching the tape of all the fights to break down the fights. And uh, now I'm, I'm going to do more writing. And so you can expect some articles and you can expect some stuff. And then. Um, and I'm going to eat some cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah. We're also doing a food drive for oh, yeah. this promotion. So if you guys could please bring a non perishable uh, uh, food item to the fights, they will be collecting them and uh, it'll help go to people in need. We're also going to do a 50 50 for the same thing. Um, once again, that um, oh shit, I gotta look at my uh, emails for uh, what what the name of it is. I should know. I I'm not um, 
I'm not on my game tonight. Um, it is a Big Mike's Roosevelt St. Little Free Pantry. So, okay, um, yeah. yeah, they're helping out people. Um, they're also going to hold a 50-50 raffle, and the 50-50 raffle is going to donate to them. Um, I just wanted to come on real quick and uh, talk some shit about some of the fighters. And, uh, you know, we got no 765 guys on this card, so it should be a nice, clean show. No disease. <laughs> it's not a podcast. Yeah. We don't make fun of the 765 race sweater and some uh, – Tentacle porn. So uh, we appreciate you guys coming. You know on what? This one. When we do another one, seven six five guys come. I wear this. I wear this sweater. Show you brown sweater again. Yeah, and Just you guys enough. eating some banana nut bread. <laughs> you know <laughs> what? I do. Joke in there. There's a secret yeah. joke in there. All I mean right now. Someday you guys will know. You'll be privy to it too. <laughs> Oh man, okay, man. All right. So hopefully I'll see you in the gym soon, Ray. Uh we got yep. some guys getting ready to fight. Um butchers I got back. my car work. I got my car uh started now and um you know I, I still gotta do a few things to it, but I could drive it now. That's all that's all that counts now. All right. Uh once again, thank you to JCR Transport. We should um have a decent pot of money for the fighters this time once again we'll always go through and we'll give away fight and night knock on yep. and all the bonuses that we do you can catch the fights uh at riverworks there's tickets online on sale online uh just put in k4 and uh the fighter that you want to support's last name or uh if you don't want to support any fighters uh, go k4 k man's corner support us and uh, i promise you everything you give us we'll give away at the next fights so you can always uh donate to k van's corner and uh, we'll put that money right back in the pot to uh, give away to the next fighters. So if yep. you think all the fighters are pieces of shit, not because they give up a lot to do this, man. You should appreciate what they do. But and, we're and, not pieces of shit, so give us money. Right. We'll, we'll appreciate it. Yeah. Amateur, it's, it's hard being an amateur MMA a kickboxer fighter because, you know, they don't get paid. No. And they got to, like, uh, we just talked about Ashley. She's putting in 23, 25 hours every week of work. It's a lot of work. Yes. Uh, to not get paid any anything. And not only that, you have to pay because you have to get your blood work done. You you have a lot of expenses. You have to travel. You have to train. You get hurt. You miss work. Like, a lot of things happen. So uh, make sure that you guys support the fighters if you can. And if not, support us. And we will support the fighters for you because that's what we do. Yeah. Good. Right. Good. Anything Good. else, Ray? Uh, no, nah, I'm done. I'm just going to eat some uh, Burger King. Oh, man. It's fight week, guys. Uh, keep your eye on K Man's Corner. I got articles coming. I'm trying to put one out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, I will not be at the Wayans. Ray, Ray, are you going to Wayans? Uh, I got to work that night. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it. All right. Uh, so just be this ben to it. maybe Ben will be at the Wayans. I'm not sure. If not, we will be there Saturday. We'll go live from the cage uh, yep. on K Man's Corner. Uh, we'll, we'll break down the fights and like show you the arena and try one more time to get you guys to come out to see some of the best fights of the year. Last fight card of the year. And, um, I should get an answer soon for a schedule for Nesta Who's. Yeah, that's right. I've been waiting for you to plug. Yep. So I should get an answer soon to get an answer. Probably uh, if I get an answer tonight, I uh, bring it up tomorrow on the podcast. All right, and don't forget, guys, K4 Sunday tomorrow. Uh, Ben's got a stacked show. We should have the main eventers. Uh, I don't, I, I couldn't follow all the conversations, but maybe we'll have Keith Ferrant. Maybe we won't. Uh, Keith Ferrant, thank you so much. Nah, for these cards. No, he's not going to be on. He's not going to be on tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'm like I saw all the messages coming up in the box. I couldn't keep up. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, he's not coming. Uh, I'm like he's trying to watch these messages, those messages. Um, uh, text all the people that were on the show. Um. Thank you guys so much for all your support and love. And uh, we'll be out of here and we'll catch up with you guys soon. There's so many good fights. Don't miss this card, man. Um, the last card of the year. And then we're going to start out next year strong. Yep. So uh, if you're looking to get on that January card message, Keith Front. All right. Uh, thank you so much for your time, right? Thank you for uh, talking with Ernesto Hoost. Uh, thank you for being. Oh, I beat Spider Man too. It's the best game ever. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. I'm a nerd. Hey.